this is an amazing story this guy is me. That is a specially adapted stirrup iron which actually stops his amputated leg from from flapping around because he hasn't really got that much control of it. And it's, it really is fantastic. There is no boundaries. And I think he is one, like his dad was so proud of him when he won those grand military races. And, you know, this is a great story and I would love to see him go and win this race. For him, it's a personal achievement riding in the race. And he's an inspiration to others. He really is. And, and he's such a good guy as well. Alice spoke to him this morning on the opening show, as I hope you saw on ITV4, as it will be on every day this week. And he doesn't want the attention on no, him. No, no. no, no. He, he's just pleased to be riding in the race. Let, let's hear a little bit of that interview earlier today. Yeah, so I, I was in the army a long time ago. Before that, I rode a bit as an amateur jockey. And then on my first tour of Afghan, I got uh, hit by a rocket belt grenade. That's in, um, I think it was Babaji in Afghanistan. And yeah, that went through my right leg, killed the lad next to me. So what was left was quickly chopped off. And I came back to the UK, tried to get my racing license, got a rap with silver resigning no from the BHA, but was told a couple of reasons, three reasons why. Reapplied, and then amazingly, sort of five years later, I got the license back. Tell us about the horse. Uh, he's lovely. So I, I popped him over the entry fences down at Lambourne, and he'd done those nicely. Got a third on him up at Mossmore on heavy ground. I, I love it. It dried out a bit more, but I don't think it's going to happen. But he, I think he was fifth in the top one with Bassi on. So, yeah, fingers crossed he should, should go well. And this is the live shot of Guy now. He's got his hands full. He has. Ooh. But in true spirit, he gets straight back on and off he goes because that's what you do. And like he doesn't want any attention on himself, he just wants to get out there and get the job done. He's walking him out. And to sum him up, Guy Dizzy, this was a quote he's given. He says, The leg thing is done and dusted. People can make of it what they will. I'm not there trying to make stuff for the history books. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Not quite following the script at the moment. Well, the arse isn't. I think no. Guy's trying to, but the arse isn't. Yeah, and just sometimes, Ed, with the the noise and that walking out through the tunnel here horses you know they do act up a little bit and it's not something they're used to but hopefully he'll get them off now in a second but he is he is playing up a little bit more than you'd like but hopefully he'll get them off in a second there you go one of the lads is one of the wonderful charms very kindly going off to give him a bit of company Sam, Sam yeah. Wiley Cohen helping him out very sporting of him very sporting of Sam Wiley Cohen helping him out that's for sure and there you go hopefully he will be he's just trying to get his 